Imagine you have built a software and you want to sell it. Or you want to give people access to the software and you also want to tell them how they can use it. The thing is, it's hard sometimes to build a damn software. It's also hard to make a contract, an agreement, how your clients would, would or should use the software. In this video, I'm going to give you three example agreements that you can use. In this video, I'm going to give you three examples of software agreement that you can use. I'm also explain to you what you should and what you shouldn't do when you are making an agreement. If you have question about agreement or anything else, feel free to contact me. Let's talk about software agreement. It's important to know that a um, software agreement is an agreement between two of more people. And you can see a software agreement as an agreement, but the problem is you have to see what kind of agreement you will find in a software agreement. I'm going to show you a couple of examples, but first let's make clear what a software agreement is. An agreement is an agreement between two people, mostly it's written, mostly you agree with it, a gentleman agreement is when you make an agreement but it's not in agreement and even an agreement on whatsapp or other messenger is an agreement so watch out what you promise someone so let's talk about agreement most of the time when you have one person and there's another person and they want to make an agreement you can write the agreement down or you can do a gentleman agreement gentleman agreement is just an agreement that you make and you trust the other side that they will keep their promise but in a software agreement, you find different kind of agreements about the software. It can be a software a license agreement. It can be a uh, selling agreement that you get the exclusive license to sell the software in a certain kind of area. So when you have an agreement, you put the agreement into writing. And most of the time, the other party will accept it if they agree with the agreement. So remember, a software agreement is an agreement. But the thing is, what's in the agreement? I'm going to show you a couple of examples. As you can see, this is a contract. And in a contract, you will find a lot of agreements. This contract is made to sell a software in a certain kind of area. When you sell the software in a certain kind of area, you can get ex exclusive rights about the software or non-exclusive rights about the software. And this is one of the agreements that you can have for software. So when you have a software and you want someone to sell it, you can use this agreement to sell the software. Another example is the following. When you develop a software, you can give people of end user license to use the software. And for that, you can make rules about how to use the software. All those rules, you can apply it in the agreement. This is an example of what kind of license you can give people for using your software. Remember, when you make an agreement, make sure that the other party accept the agreement. This, this is an example of how you can give people license to use your software. Let's go and look at another agreement. When you develop a software and you are the ownership of the software, you can also put in an agreement that you are the ownership of the software. When you develop a software and you are the owner of the software, you can put into writing that you are the owner of the software and you can put that in the agreement. This is an example of how you put that in the agreement. This is also something that you can use in, in your contract. Let's look at another one. If you make a software and you want people to keep it confidential, you can make a confidential agreement. And in the agreement, you can put all sorts of kind of agreement. But remember, people have to accept it. And here, this is an example of a confidential agreement. And it shows that when someone is disclosing information that they have to keep certain kind of information secret and that's how, what you can do with this kind of agreement this is the end of the video i show you how software agreement works and i also give you a couple of examples that you can use if you have question about this or anything else about software agreement or you have software agreement that you want to check if everything is okay, feel free to contact me. 
See you in the next video.